In the following video, a Desmi service engineer will take you through a full overhaul of a Desmi modular S-type centrifugal pump in monoblock design. For the overhaul, we use a genuine Desmi spare parts kit. We'll go through the overhaul step by step by disassembling the pump, replacing all gaskets, sealing units and bearings, and complete the overhaul by reassembling the pump. When servicing and or overhauling a Desmi pump, we recommend that you always study the manual before starting. Manual and spare parts kits are available at www.desmi.com slash aftersales. Make sure you have the necessary tools and the spare parts kit at hand. All the needed parts are included in the spare parts kit and on the rear side, an item list for all parts is shown. A list of the pumps which are covered by the spare parts kit is also included. On the rear side, a QR code is shown. When scanning the code, enter the www.desmi.com slash aftersale section where manuals, overhaul videos, spare part kits, etc. are publicized. Using Desmi Genuine Spare Parts Kit makes it easy, convenient and trouble-free for you to overhaul your Desmi pumps. Initially, the pump has to be dismantled. Remove the guard. Remove the screws and pull off the electrical motor. Remove the intermediate flange. Loosen the pointed screw and remove the coupling. Remove the Allen screws. Lift up the unit with the impeller from the pump casing. Disassemble the motor bracket and bearing house. Remove nut and washers. And pull off the impeller. Remove the spring and sunk key. Remove the rotating part of the mechanical shaft seal. Remove the Allen screws and pull out the shaft with bearing cover. Push out the stationary part of the mechanical seal and water deflector. Remove the ring lock.
pull off the bearing. Remove the support disc. Clean the shaft and check for wear and damage. Place the support disc. Using an induction heater or the like, heat up the bearing to 100 to 110 degrees centigrade. Insert the bearing and press up against the support disc and fit the ring lock. Clean the surfaces of the bearing house and pump casing. Clean the shaft seal cover and check the seat for flatness and cracks. Assemble the bearing cover and shaft. Assemble the bearing cover and shaft seal cover. Place the conical bush on the shaft to prevent the rubber bellows from being damaged during the mounting. Lubricate the water deflector with soap or soapy water and push it onto the shaft. Push until it touches the cover and then a further one to one and a half millimeters. Unpack the mechanical shaft seal. Clean the sliding surface of the stationary shaft seal with alcohol and be careful not to touch it after cleaning. Lubricate the outer rubber ring with soap or soapy water. Now press the seat into place and check that all parts are correctly embedded. Clean the sliding surface of the rotating part of the mechanical shaft seal. Lubricate the inner surface of the slide ring rubber bellows with soapy water and push it over the shaft. Remove the conical bush. Fit the sunk key in the shaft. Place the spring. Lubricate the impeller or shaft end and lead the impeller towards the shoulder of the shaft. Take care that the ring at the end of the shaft seal spring locates in the recess of the impeller. Secure the impeller with washers and nut. Lubricate the surface of the shaft seal cover and place the gasket. Assemble the impeller unit and the pump casing. Place the motor bracket on the pump casing.
Fasten the motor bracket and pump unit to the pump casing. Insert the sunk key and lubricate the shaft end. Fit and fasten the coupling. Mount the intermediate flange. Mount the electrical motor and fasten screws. Finally, mount the guards and the overhaul is complete.